Hello, you're watching The Binge List, in which I share with you some of the films and shows I've loved on streaming platforms available on Tata Sky Binge. I'm going to start with Tiger, streaming on Disney Plus Hotstar Premium. This isn't a National Geographic show about wildlife or the jungle. Tiger is a two-episode mini-series on the rise, fall and comeback of Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is one of the greatest golfers of all time and one of the most famous athletes in the world. But the beauty is that you don't need to be interested in golf or even like sport to enjoy this. Watching icons stumble offers a twistedly satisfying pleasure. Perhaps it's reassuring for the rest of us to know that even these men and women, at the pinnacle of their talent and power, are human like the rest of us. Directors Matthew Hamacek and Matthew Heinemann get that. In the first few minutes, we see visuals of Tiger's glory on the golf course. The star player winning, surrounded by hordes of cheering fans. But we also see Tiger handcuffed, defeated by his own debilitating appetites. The contrast is startling and tragic. We're instantly hooked. Episode 1 is about the construction of Tiger and his relationship with his chief architect, his father Earl Woods. Tiger was a child prodigy who picked up a club when he was only three months old. At two, he was already playing golf. This was, as a friend says, Earl's master plan. Like a potter with clay, he molded his son into a golfing champion. Earl believed that his son was the chosen one. In a speech, he said that Tiger would transcend the game and bring to the world a humanitarianism which has never been known before. Tiger broke the age and color barrier. On the golf course, he was both an artist and a machine programmed to win. Some of the shots we see him play here just seem impossible. It's almost as though he's controlling the ball with his mind and maneuvering it into the hole. Tiger becomes the great black hope and with a hundred million dollar deal with Nike, eventually a corporation. But success brings friction, especially between father and son. Earl starts to lose control of his son's narrative and the pressure of having to be perfect both on the course and off it eventually also breaks Tiger. Hamacek and Heinemann use talking heads, friends, journalists, former girlfriends, caddies and footage from archival interviews, home videos and press conferences to piece together this cautionary tale. The series doesn't have the immersive energy of Asif Kapadia's sports docs such as Senna or Diego Maradona, but the drama is unrelenting. The directors delve into all facets of Tiger. He was a revered sportsman, but also a compulsive liar and a philanderer. He also had this alarming capacity to be robotic and cruel in his relationships. He breaks up with his first girlfriend with a letter, and his long-standing caddy Steve Williams is cast aside without an explanation. Tiger will leave you asking many questions. Is this level of talent and success a Faustian bargain? What is the line between shaping your children and stifling them with your ambition? Is happiness the price of genius? There are no answers here, but it's a rewarding journey. You can see Tiger on Disney plus Hotstar. My next pick is the Tamil blockbuster Master on Amazon Prime Video. First, a confession. I saw the Hindi dub of Master when the film released theatrically. Too much was lost in translation. But I'm a great lover of masala movies and a recent convert to the cult of the superstar Vijay. So I decided to give it one more shot. I watched it on Amazon Prime Video in Tamil with English subtitles and this was a much more enjoyable experience. Vijay plays the titular master. His name is JD. He is the Dean of Student Affairs at a college. The students adore him. But the administration really dislikes him because JD is a drunk. Post 6 p.m., he's incoherent. But before that, he's this lovable, laid back, inspiring teacher. The first half of the film focuses on JD's life in the college, but then he gets shifted to a government juvenile observation home. The boys here, from the youngest to the oldest, are being used by a dreaded criminal, Bhavani, to operate his vast empire. At first, JD has no intentions of trying to reform or even teach these kids. He is happy to snooze and booze through his term. But when he understands the extent of the damage that Bhavani is inflicting, he becomes a man on a mission and goes on a warpath against him. Bhavani is played by the terrific Vijay Setupati. The film actually begins with his backstory. Writer-director Lokesh Kanagraj understands that the more powerful the villain, the more his hero will shine. He skillfully constructs the myth of Bhavani. Bhavani's fists are lethal weapons. 
through the film we see him kill people indiscriminately some by simply punching them bhavani doesn't drink and he wears hindu christian and muslim amulets around his neck but there's nothing good about him he keeps the boys in a haze of alcohol and drugs so that they do his bidding when they don't he kills them without hesitation setupati plays bhavani with this menacing charm in the climax when bhavani punches jd i was actually afraid for him lokesh has a keen understanding of the vocabulary of masala He builds a terrific entry scene for Vijay and then continues to pander to his outsized persona but also add new twists. So JD has no backstory. In one scene he says it's not important why I started drinking, it's important why I stopped. The film has a heroine, Charu Lata played by Malvika Mohanan, but there is no love story. JD goes up against Bhavani because he says I have no one to call my own. In one of my favorite scenes JD declares, "Bhavani says he will kill people who like me, but millions like me." which is of course a clever hat tip to Vijay's star. The music by Anirudh, especially Kutti story, is terrific. Be warned that Master is almost three hours long. The length is punishing, but the beauty of streaming is that you don't have to do it all at one sitting. You can see the film on Amazon Prime Video. My next pick is Nagraj Manjula's Sairat on Z5. You might have seen the Hindi remake Dharak, but that was such a sanitized, watered-down version of Nagraj's story. Sairat is deeply romantic but also terrifying. That climactic sequence is guaranteed to haunt you. Sairat means wild in Marathi. It's a story of Archie and Parshya who live in Bittergaon, a village in Maharashtra. Parshya's father is a fisherman. Archie's father is an affluent landlord and heavyweight politician. They are separated not just by status but by something more insidious, caste. The first hour of the film plays out like this swoony romance with Archie and Parshya falling headlong into love. The music by Ajay Atul adds to the sweep of this love story, especially the melodious Yad Lagla, which roughly translates to I've gone insane and the chart-busting Zingar. But the second half of Sairat is a very different film. Like dozens of Indian film lovers before them, Archie and Parshya elope. But Nagraj doesn't romanticize the experience. They end up in a slum in Hyderabad and their relationship is tested to breaking point. The two newcomers, Rinku Rajguru and Akash Thosar, give wonderfully unguarded performances. Unlike Bollywood debutants, they weren't groomed to the gills. Their naturalness lends authenticity to the film. Underneath the romance and the music, Sairat simmers with rage, which is why you must see the film. And my discovery of the week is Go Go Are Gone on Eros Now. Raj and DK's zombie movie is still oodles of fun. Just the idea of Saif Ali Khan with blonde hair playing a zombie killer who's pretending to be Russian makes me smile. The second half isn't as sparkling as the first, but there are moments that will make you laugh out loud. I hope they make a sequel soon. That's all for this week. I'll see you next week with more recommendations on the binge list. You can watch all these shows and movies with the Tata Sky binge subscription. To know more, search for Tata Sky binge or click on the link in the description below.